All right, this is Dave Daly with WilsonvilleBusinessDistrict.com, and we are excited today to bring you into the home studio of Paul Missel. He's a longtime Wilsonville uh, artist, and uh, Paul, thank you very much for having us here today. Paul, what's this mean for you to be able to connect with local artists? Well, I think it's, uh, it's, it's actually kind of a, a privilege to connect with the artists. I, I'm really encouraged by the art scene that's formed here in, in, in Wilsonville, and um, a lot of it's kind of hidden. I must say, you have to uh, part the bushes a little bit to see some of us because we do like it. We do come out here because we like living out here in Wilsonville, a little bit out of town, but still accessible to it. Uh, so I enjoy what's beginning to evolve here. Uh, when I came, uh, I, I must say, I was the uh, young kid on the block, and now I've become the old timer. Uh, so I've seen a lot of changes in Wilsonville over the years. And uh, it's been wonderful to see it, uh, as I say, it's been wonderful to see it evolve and see it change. Uh, I do have a number of friends here who, uh, who live and enjoy this community and enjoy what's happened to the community as it's changed too and grown with, uh, with the times, with all the new construction. And, um, and it's, it's, it's just brought a lot of wonderful things in the community, but it's changed at a big uh, uh, big time, really. You, you know, we also want to kind of let you know about this building that we're in. It's uh, one of the oldest buildings here, and we're here in Old Town, uh, Wilsonville on 5th and Boone's Ferry. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our attendees to this event, they also get to take in a historical building. You don't only paint amazing pieces, but you'll be able to hear about how this building served Wilsonville in so many different ways over the years. And the upstairs was the town dance hall, the movie theater, oh, the wow. roller rink. It was all of those things. So this was really Wilsonville's first community center. They even used to they tell me they even used to have prize fights up there when the, the, the train would come by, they'd advertise a week ahead. And if anybody can go around with the with the with the guy that came in town, they could get five bucks. So it had that a very colorful history. One of the things when I found this building, um, uh, people have asked me, how did you ever, how did you ever find this place out? Oh, and taking a ride, I came out Boone's Ferry Road and I saw this old building for sale. And I stopped and I talked to the woman there and Jackie, what, um, you know, her name was Jackie. I says, what, what's the story in this building? Well, it's for sale. The sign just blew down, you know, just blew over. So I said, oh God. So I went and I figured I pulled a little bit of money I had and put some down payment down and bought the place. Although originally it had a very interesting past. The, I'm sure the viewers might be interested in in seeing some of it around because there's bits of it and pieces all around this around the, these four walls. Um, this used to be uh, feed and grain for about 40 years, but prior to that, it was the local pool hall. It was uh, part of it was a pool hall. Part of it was a grocery store. Up here, where we are now, where my studio is, was the town dance hall, movie theater, roller rink. It just, uh, prize fights were here. It just did everything. It was the community center. But it was a really active, engaging, vibrant building that had lots of energy in these big walls. Even though it was a feed and grain store when I saw it, knowing that other stuff happened here in the community just kind of gave it a nice energy. So I like to think that I'm giving it a kind of energy too, but of a maybe a more artistic kind than a community kind. Shapes of the shell, and then these being the negative of what you see as a positive mm -hmm. on the base there. So just playing with shapes. Uh, but in, in this case, a very calm palette. Not a palette that's built up with strong color, but very subdued. So, so and that that really sort of harkens back to something that sort of pers has personally driven me for many years. I think a lot of people um, know me probably less for my portrait work. Uh, I've seen that teapot I don't know how many times. It's nineteen Pyrex uh, cor uh, uh, corningware, 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 and. Um, with the black handle and the white, turned that the whole sounding board into the the tail of the cat. And if you look carefully at the cat, you'll see yellow feathers coming out of his mouth. <laughs> so it's a lesson there. You always got to watch out. There's always going to be a cat somewhere to get a hold of there. So yeah. Yeah. So you know who who owns this now, which I think is really lovely, Wilsonville Diamond. Our Wilsonville Diamonds bought it because that's where I bought the diamonds. And they thought, well, we'll buy that. She oh. says, it's our diamonds that we got so I mean, I bought the diamonds from them. And I thought, well, how lovely. So they have they they will have this on display 
Yes. Uh, and, and they have a shelf up there. And then they're going to keep it for a year or two, and then they're going to turn it back in and let it be auctioned again. So it's really, really fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I'm so pleased. Yeah, it's a good likeness of Carlos, if any of you have seen him. Oh, yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, I, I just had such a good time painting it. This is done in oil, by the way. And I, as you know, I paint only in acrylics. But every now and then, for something small, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use, uh, I don't use turpentine, I'll use mineral solvents, but I'll use, uh, I'll use the oils for that. So that's kind of, I thought you might enjoy seeing that. Thanks, I, I've forgotten about it, Fioni. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's spruce. But, but, uh, um, it's been a wonderful home and a great place to be in, a beautiful community to live in. So I've been very privileged to be a part of it and, and the, to see this whole community go, grow and evolve. The building, what year do you know it was built? About 1904. Uh, when I came here, one of the one of the guys I, I got to meet was a fellow named Esty Tauchman, who lived down the street, and his dad ran the ferries at, up and down, uh, and picking up, uh, you know, taking the commerce up and down mm -hmm. uh, uh, the river, uh, the Willamette, and he told me, Paul, you know how that building got there, and I said, no. He says, well, he said when it was located next to me, which was down on Boone's Ferry a little while, a little ways down, he said that the town decided to, I mean, the, the people that owned the building decided they needed to have a feed and grain store, but they didn't want to build one. So what they did was they bought this building that we're in and moved it to this location, oh, wow. which made Magnolia Street. They cut the trees down to make the street, rolled the building on the trees, <laughs> and brought it up here onto it, built a foundation, moved it on this foundation with Estes, uh, it was Estes' granddad's, I think, horses, two horses, Frank and Dan. Frank and Dan in a, in a big log, uh, sort of a rotary kind of thing. They would, you know, the horses would go round and round and wind this thing up and pull the building a couple of feet. Then wow. they'd take the log from the back, put it up in the front, and, the horse, and reattach the rope, and then wind it again and move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, and bring it here. Wow. And what so year was that? That, was, that would have been in the 20s, I think. Paul, thank you so much for letting us into your uh, oh, studio my today. Pleasure. My and pleasure. Uh, for everyone to know everything about thank Wilsonville you. Arts, uh, go to wilsonvillearts.org, and we're excited to see you here in September. Thank you. Be a pleasure. Thanks.